In my work as a presentation skills coach, I spend a lot of time working with leaders on their stories, their personal stories and their business stories. Well, coronavirus has reminded me that the most important story you tell as a leader is the story you tell yourself. What story are you telling yourself these days? Are you focused on the negativity of the news, the number of deaths, the, the spread of the disease, uh, the quarantine, and how the economy's been slowed to a crawl? Or are you focusing more on the successes that you and your team are having every day, the optimism in the news, the hope, and what better days in the future look like? Some of my friends and family have occasionally accused me of being too optimistic. I respectfully disagree with their assessment. There's a huge difference between being optimistic and wearing blinders or rose-colored glasses. Uh, the best example I've ever heard of this concept comes from Tony Robbins, and I'm paraphrasing, but years ago I heard him say, if you were a gardener and you walked out into your garden and saw some weeds, it's not a good strategy to say, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds. That's insane. He said, your best strategy is to go out there, acknowledge the weeds, pull the suckers out and move on. I love that. To me, that's optimism. That's saying that, yes, there are better days ahead. We're in the middle of the weeds right now. So let's tend to our gardens as best we can. Let's pull out the weeds that we're able to pull out on our own. The others will have to take care of themselves. We have no control over those. And that all starts with telling ourselves stories. Let's focus on what we're accomplishing that's good. How are we set up as we position through the virus? Uh, what could be good? That's another good question to ask yourself is well, what could be right here? And then what do better days look like? I understand that circumstances are changing fast, but lay a vision out for the future. Share that with your team. It will also help you stay positive and optimistic through these tough times. Be aware of the story that you're telling yourself. The people who follow you are watching and they're listening. And more importantly, they need you to lead with positive stories. We'll talk with you in our next tip.